Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome to post-game content of Let's Play Wild Arms 3. Well, uh, let's take a look at my item inventory here. I've got a whole bunch of elemental rings that I didn't have before. Uh, also got some, uh, well not moonstones, I already had these, but I've got uh, some more blue bracers, a clear chime, memo pens, alarm clocks, heart leaves. The goal is for everyone to be immune to these seven status ailments. As well as for everybody to be immune to every single element. I haven't equipped those yet. Uh, and I'm not gonna I'd not I'm not gonna equip the status ailment stuff yet. Quite yet, but anyway, we're in Little Twister, um, right now, just so you know, but if you're wondering where to get all these things, uh I was gonna show you, but I figure out it's just more efficient to put it in the video description. So I will put it in the video description. Uh, basically, you can steal all of these except for an ice ring, and I believe you cannot steal a. Oh no, you can steal all of these. Yeah, most of them are rare steals, although, uh, yeah, although there's a way to guarantee that you get the rare steal or the common steal, depending on. Well, they're usually the rare steel because the common steel is usually like an item like a potion berry or a mega berry or heal berry or something like that. Usually a potion berry. But as you can see, I have 99 potion berries and I have 99 uh, pinwheels and 99 pixie dust. The reason being is because, in or as well as 99 uh, heal berries, uh, I forgot about that. Uh, you can ignore the revive fruits, but the. So, I forget which ones exactly, but some of those rings and uh, status protection item, status, status protection gears, the common steel was a heel berry, a potion berry, a pinwheel, or a pixie dust. So I got 99 of those, so that basically when I tried to steal, and it got the common steel, it would just miss. Because you can only steal one item from an enemy, so if you get the common steel, you can't get the rare steel. But if you have 99 of the common item, let's, let's say it's a potion berry, and I'm trying to get, uh, let's say, a wind ring, because I, I think you can steal it from Chimera Wing, Chimera Wing, whatever you want to call it, if you want to pronounce it. I have 99 potion berries. If it tries to steal the potion berry, it'll just miss, and I still have the opportunity to steal the, the wind ring. Whereas, if I didn't have 99 Potion Berries, it could steal the Potion Berry, and then I'd have to either reset the battle or find the enemy again. That doesn't work for every single time you try to steal, because there are a couple, like, alarm clocks can only be stolen from an enemy that also you can steal Heart Leaves from. So, it's pretty unreasonable to get 99 of either of these two, so... It really only works for, like, Potion Berries, Heal Berries, cause, and... Uh, oh, also 99 Mini Carrots as well, you also want. And they're relatively easy to... Well, I had 99 of them. I don't know why I have 98 now. I must have used one. But... You want 99 uh, mini carrots as well. But, um... These are pretty easy to get through gardening. And, uh, you can just buy the pixie dust and the... Whatever the other one was. The, uh... Pinwheels. That's what it was. From, uh, Roikman. So, pretty easy there. Uh, really, to effectively steal, you want to uh, have Jet cast Replay on Clive. Have Clive pickpocket from the enemy. That way, he'll pickpocket twice. And even though it's only 5, maybe 10%, I think up to 15% sometimes for the item, depending on what it is, to steal. Uh, if you're stealing twice in one round, that's not terrible. Uh, you could also summon uh, Lucky Hand against enemies that drop it to guarantee an item drop, but that only guarantees an item drop. It doesn't guarantee like a rare drop or or the common drop, it just guarantees an item drop. If you kill the enemy with it. So that, that's not too good for uh, my purposes, because you can really manipulate stealing by with reset. You know, if you fail to get it, you can just reset the battle. Whereas Lucky Hand, once you use it and you kill the enemies, that's it. The, the battle's over. You gotta start again if you didn't get it. It can be useful for getting some of them, but I like to go the stealing route. I'll probably list uh, which enemies drop them as well. If they drop them as well, or whatever. When I upload this eventually. Uh, the thing with Lucky Hand, though, is it does not get the multiplier for FP. 
at 100%, uh, or FP in general, I don't think. I think it gets, like, a boost from the stats of the FP growth, of having high FP, but it doesn't get, like, this times 8 multiplier that I think the other ones get, or whatever the multiplier is. I forget what, exactly what it is, but it's very weak, so you may have to replay it. You may have to weaken the enemy first. It's a real pain in the ass. I don't recommend it. Fortunately, it hits all enemies, unlike in Wild Arms 2, but... Anyway, the first boss, we optional boss that I want to take on is the Kraken, who is in that well there. But before we do that, we want to be immune to water, so... Let's see, we've got Water Ward on Gallows, and of course, Elemental Ward on Clive. Might as well go with that, for now. Uh, I like Critical Hit, actually. Well, we don't need Disarm anymore. Or counterattack, I mean. We will solve the level problem soon enough. And, uh, yeah, defender. Just usual stuff, really. You don't really need a whole lot. Weakness boost, definitely need. No status ailments here. Let's get FP+. Plus. But, Virginia cannot be immune to water. And neither can Jet right now, so that's a problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to equip on... Cosmic Cog, a Water Ring, as well as a Cosmic Cog, uh, we're going to equip a Cosmic Cog, a Water Ring on Hope Shard. Now one thing you got to be aware of is that if you move these mediums around, obviously that could be a problem. So from now on, whenever I switch and I need Elemental Protection, I'm switching the entire setup, not just the medium I need. Uh, the only, well... This means that Lustjaw, for example, I'm not going to be switching over to Virginia anymore for the Virginia Nuke, except for one situation where I'm going to have her do it. But that's against an enemy that has really high HP. For the most part, though, I'm going to be sticking with Clive's dual shot for the rest of the way because, well, we're about to get something that helps him out a lot. Uh, it also helps the Virginia Nuke out, so don't get me wrong. You could do it that way, but I prefer not... So, yeah, anyway, we want to equip on... Did we actually get... Yeah, yeah, we have Water Ward on Virginia and Water Ward on Jet. Counter attack could be useful. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, we're good. So, anyway, we want to examine this. And I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but you gotta play the Kramer dolls here. This guy is actually one of the... Oh god, that... That could be taken the wrong way. But anyway, this is the Kraken. Uh, not really... Well, normally he's really hard. He's also level 90, so... He's probably... You're probably... You're not really supposed to take him on uh, at low levels, but he's really easy if you know what you're doing. I'm going to spend uh, Jet's turn casting Quicken and Permanence with Virginia. You could go Extension. I'm not going to. I do want him to full carrot himself. Uh, I'll get more full carrots off screen as well. I'll probably need more than that. And, uh, yeah, let's go with Fragile. I don't want to hyper because... Well, I just don't want to. I want to use, um, attach, uh, water elemental, or... Attach, uh, mystic water ring. That's why I've also made sure that I have an additional ring of each one. You probably don't need an additional one of each one, but eh, I like to anyway. But yeah, he'll use a bunch of water attacks on you, including Maelstrom. Which can be pretty nasty. Uh, he does have a physical attack, which is why I'm using Turbulence, because that'll let me dodge it. Let's copy ability here, and... Uh, we got Fragile on him, I believe. We'll just start shooting.
permanence going. This is going to be a long fight, so. Not really a big deal there. Now I'm going to get uh, Mystic uh, Water Ring onto Clive there. Oh, that would have been nice to have on him. Oh well. And we want to replay Gallus' turn as soon as he's done getting Turbulence and everybody, just because I don't want to deal with his physical attack. Let's get a Mystic, a Water Ring. I don't know why he uses water attacks on you, but you can see where this is going. You want to use Maelstrom on him. A Hydro Launcher is just weaker, so we want to use Maelstrom. His physical attack isn't too bad, so... Really, it's just Maelstrom. If you weren't immune to water, it would probably kill you, but... Oh, I am immune to water, so uh, I don't really care. Yeah, look at the damage. He's got like 300,000 HP, so... This is gonna take a while. You do have weakness, right? Yeah. Oh, it's also a good idea to have Gela Boost active. Because we're actually going to need a lot of money, so... Mm. Don't need Eagle Eye. Let's, let's uh, get Turbulence on Gallows now. Let's keep going with Permanence. You could, uh, lucky card here, but, nah. Yeah, he gives like 100,000 experience, so that's pretty good. Uh, I actually am going to Gela card him, because he does give, uh, 114,000 Gela, which is actually really good. So, definitely want a Gela card, or not Gela card, I mean, double the times two Gela card ability. It does not stack with a Gela card, so, that won't work, unfortunately. That should uh, do some decent damage. Alright. Yeah, Maelstrom's more consistent, so just stick with Maelstrom. Uh, that physical attack of his is a counter attack, so we gotta watch out for that. I wanna get permanence on Clive. Maelstrom. And shoot. And then I'll probably Mystic a full carrot. Uh, you could attach the element to Jet, but he's probably not going to be all that useful. It would only work for a counterattack, and I don't think he uses his physical attack normally anyway. Not bad, Gallows, not bad. It's not going to work, buddy. Yeah, I've never fought this guy without being immune to water, so I don't know how strong that attack is, but I've heard it's pretty damn strong. But there's a reason why you want to take this guy on first. Uh, first, to, well, first, he's really easy, but secondly, you actually get a decent reward for it, so why not? Eh, maybe a good idea to actually cast Feeble Mind on him, that might help. Probably not, but you never know. I take it back, I will be using the Virginia Nuke, I think, for the Telepath Tower side quest, but... That's, uh, that's, that's, uh, just because I don't care about elemental protection, but other than that. And there will be a couple times where I use extension, but again, I'll just switch entire setups for that. Oh, 
Okay, let's replay. I think it works 100% of the time. Yeah, it does. So does Weaken, by the way, so if you want to attach a different weakness, which I don't know why you would, you can use that on him. Uh, I don't really think you need to do much of anything, Virginia. No, not really. Do I really care to attach another element to somebody? No, just throw, uh... No, no, nothing, nothing useful. You're pretty worthless for this battle. Oh well. Although... I could nuke him. Nah, nah, I'm not gonna bother. Well, just in case I change my mind, let's get Water Ring on you. I might change my mind. But I think he's got a lot of defense. Well, not too much, actually. Three, 380. Yeah, I probably want to nuke him. going with replay though. This guy's gonna take a while. Go with a mini no not you uh, keep replaying. You can mini carry yourself for the for the nuke. Maelstrom and shoot. I love using enemy skills against them. Kicks ass. Yeah, maybe I... I guess he can use it normally. Maybe I should have attached it too. Yeah, I wouldn't have dealt that much more. How much can he have left? All right, yeah, let's nuke him. Let's get Elemental Ward. Get Hope Shard so you can have water protection. I guess I should use a Galakar just because this might kill him. I got so many of the things, why not? Make sure everybody is immune to water. Auto reload. Weakness. Okay, we're good. No, let's not do that. Let's leave it normal. You can Galakard, because this might actually kill him. Go with Maelstrom, and you might as well still shoot, why not? Eh, not bad, not bad. About 15,000 there. Better than what Clive can do. Hell, that's better than what Gallus is doing, actually. Yeah, not bad, even without your mediums there, Clive. Alright, back to, uh... Back to normal, I suppose. Let's get a water boost.
Water boost? Is that what I just said? <laughs> water ward. Don't need a uh, Gala boost to use the Gala card. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Keep on replaying Gallows there. Eh, it's more important to use a full care than yourself, I think. Might actually need to heal and wow, that sucked. He has to reload. I should have waited uh, to the next turn then. Oh well, Gallows is still more damaging than Clive anyway. Yeah, Gallus is pretty good. Uh, he's one of the best mages in any game, really. Any RPG. Magic usually sucks in RPGs, or it's usually inferior to physical attacks. So. In this game, they're, they're pretty nicely balanced, although physical attacks are going to be better for the most part from here on out, but meh. Magic's still really good, uh, especially battle items, which I, I guess you consider them magic. They go by the magic stat. I wonder how good the battle items are in Ultra Code F. I never really tested them. I wonder if they work by the same formula or not. Not that they, I would probably use them either way in that game, just because, well, only Cecilia can cast magic in that game, so. Makes them less useful since the other characters aren't designed to have good uh, magic. Plus your FP starts low, so at zero in that game. Keep going with Maelstrom and shoot. Feeble Mind uh, doesn't seem to really help that much, but oh well. That's the problem when you get to such high damage numbers. But you can do it if you want. I'm not going to bother. You can't have that much left. Okay, well that was really good. But that's uh, pretty unusual, so. Really, Gallus is still going to be better. Let's go with a Me Mystic Mega Berry. Could be useful. Should almost have him. Don't really know what else to say about this guy. He's, he's pretty easy. Oh, come on, game. Nice, Clive. 15,000. Not bad. Clive's critical hits are just too inconsistent. I suppose if you had Clive's arm fully set up at this point, then yeah, I guess he might be better, but... It's... Give or take, really. Ah, oh, you might as well mini-carry yourself. Why the hell not? Maelstrom. Man, Clive has, uh... Had to reload twice now. Yeah, this guy's got a ton of HP. 280,000, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. I could have come in here with low HP and just completely annihilated him. But, nah. This guy is relatively easy to deal with, so I don't think that's worth it. Come on, how much can you possibly have left? I don't think Reflect will... Will, uh... Reflect Hydro Launcher. I could be wrong. Come on. Take him out. He's still alive? Wow. Didn't expect him to last this long. It is worth it to take him on right now, though. 
before doing uh, the leveling up that I'm going to be doing. I got him. I heard it. There we go. He's dead. And for defeating him, we get the almighty Comet Mark. Easily one of the best accessories in the game or gears whatever you want to call it and holy crap That was a lot of experience But yeah, we want to equip that right away onto I believe brave seal Or not nah, fiery rage, I guess It doesn't really matter It just has to go on the attacking setup. So let's uh just not lucky hand. So let's give that to Fiery rage now what that does is it's, it's basically SOS power boost without having to be in critical HP. And, I, and it does stack with SOS power boost as well. But as you can see, it requires a ton of points. It is totally, totally worth it. It's worth every penny. Combine that with defense null and critical hit. And I don't even really care about luck boost right now. I'll just use tiny flowers. Who cares? It is amazing. It is ridiculously good. How good is it? Well, you'll have to find out on the next episode when we take on the Telepath Towers. Well, at least the first five. And then we got some grinding to do that I'll be doing off screen after that, so... But that's it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. This is Ryzen signing off. Take care.